When there's no more hope is left in me, I can see what comes my way, and I'm always lost. There's nowhere else to go. All I do is fall. Feels like I can make it more than I could bear. Giving up is all that I can surrender to. Often when going through tough seasons, it's so easy to not see beyond the present state. When fear and heartache seem to be your daily lot and sorrow surrounds you. When it looks like there cannot possibly be an end in sight and the only way out is to give up or to give in. When no human effort can bring you out of the darkness that has become part of you. Stop and listen. There is a still small voice telling you that there is hope. There is a ray of light that shines through the deepest darkness, a light that no amount of darkness can overcome. There is a still small voice urging you to speak up the truths that are deep within you, the truths that have stood the test of time and have never once failed, the truths that silence all fear, all shame, all guilt and condemnation, the truths that are only found in the word of God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked advance against me to devour me, it is my enemies and foes who will stumble and fall. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war breaks out against me, even then I will be confident. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord, the Lord himself is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. With joy I will draw water from the wells of salvation. I will surely forget all my troubles, recalling them only as waters gone by. Life will be brighter than noonday, and darkness will become like morning. I am secure because there is hope. I will look about me and take my rest in safety. I will lie down with no one to make me afraid, and many will court my favor. I will not be discouraged, even though my physical being is gradually decaying, yet my spiritual being is renewed day after day. And this light and temporary trouble I suffer will bring me a tremendous and eternal glory, much greater than the trouble. Weeping may stay for the night, but joy comes in the morning. The Lord is faithful. He strengthened me and protect me from all evil. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for he is with me. I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I'll fix my eyes on Jesus, the author and the perfecter of my faith, and for the joy set before me I will endure, and I will surely emerge victorious. I keep my eyes always on the Lord. With him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Truly, my soul finds rest in God. My salvation comes from him. Truly, he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. Because I dwell in the shelter of the Most High, I find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I consider that what I'm suffering right now cannot be compared at all with the glory that is going to be revealed to me. By worrying, I cannot add a single hour to my life. Since I cannot do this very little thing, why do I worry about the rest? I will not worry about anything, but in all my prayer, I will ask God for what I need, always asking Him with a thankful heart. I know the peace of God which is far above all human understanding will guard my heart and my mind in Christ Jesus. The peace that Jesus gives me is not as the world gives. Therefore, I will not let my heart be troubled. I will not let my heart be troubled because I believe in God and I also believe in Jesus. 
in my weakness his power is made perfect and his grace is sufficient i cast all my anxieties on him because he cares for me why my soul are you downcast why so disturbed within me put your hope in god for i will yet praise him my savior and my god i am strong and courageous and will not be afraid or terrified of anyone for the lord my god is with me he will never leave me nor forsake me and so i will not fear for he is with me i will not be dismayed for he is my god he will strengthen me and help me he will uphold me with his righteous right hand i'm fully submitted to god and i'm at peace with him in this way prosperity will come to me i will not grieve for the joy of the lord is my strength my god is my refuge and strength an ever present help in times of need therefore i do not fear though the earth gives way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging the lord is near to all who call on him to all who call on him in truth those who know your name trust in you lord for you lord have never forsaken those who seek you i trust in you i know that you will keep me in perfect peace because my mind is steadfast i will have no fear of bad news my heart is secure in the end i will look in triumph i look to the lord and his strength and seek his face always I will be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. I will be still because I know that he is God. His presence is with me and he will give me rest. The eternal God is my refuge and underneath are the everlasting arms. Whenever I cry out to the Lord, he hears me and he delivers me from all troubles. He is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. The God who created me, he who formed me and redeemed me and has summoned me by my name, I am his. I will not fear. When I pass through the waters, he is with me. When I pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over me. When I walk through the fire, I will not be burned. The flames will not set me ablaze, since I am precious and honored in his sight, and he loves me. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary and young men stumble and fall but because I hope in the Lord he will renew my strength I will soar on wings like an eagle I will run and not grow weary I will walk and not be faint And so I approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that I may receive mercy and find grace for help in my time of need And the God of all grace who called me to his eternal glory in Christ after i have suffered a little while will himself restore me and make me strong firm and steadfast and now may the god of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way the lord be with you all